idea with you guys for today that goes with a very fun book called The Day the Crayons Quit. I have to say, it's been a while since I've worked with crayons. I forgot how fun it is to draw with crayons, how bright the colors are, and what really cool things you can make with crayons. So I came across an idea where you make rubbings. So in general, the idea of a rubbing is pretty straightforward. You find something that has a cool texture to it. And you put a piece of paper on top and grab a crayon, hopefully a crayon that doesn't have paper on it, and you rub. Now I'll show you the star from this watch is on my paper. So fun. So it's really cool to go around your house and find different textures, different things that you can rub under paper with a crayon uh, to make really cool pictures and ideas. If you want to take it up a notch, if you have a hot glue gun, you can make your own kind of textures and rubbings to do. So I made a few with my kids earlier. You'll see my son, there's a smiley face. There's a star and a swirl, and my favorite, a heart. So I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. You're gonna start with a piece of cardboard and a crayon, and you're going to draw a design onto your cardboard. I'll draw another heart. Heart, like that. And now we'll take you over to the counter where my hot glue gun is and show you how we do that. Once you've drawn your pictures on the cardboard with crayon, then you want to take your cardboard drawing and a glue gun. Mine's seen better days. It's a little rough. But you're going to follow along that line with a line of hot glue. Now you kind of want to get it as close to the same uh, depth of glue all around, which can be the trickiest part of this. But once you've got it all done, just let it dry and we'll move on. Here's a face that my son did. Let's see. Eyeball. Eyeball, nose, mouth, smiley face, and let's see what else have we got. Oh, here's a star and a swirl that my daughter drew for me. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oop, running out of glue. We can do it. And a swirl. Perfect. We'll let those cool off and see how they work. So we take, now that all the glue has dried, it's not hot anymore, we can take these kind of texture boards and put them underneath the cardboard and we come up with different shapes. We'll see if you can tell what these were. A spiral and a star. And you can do them over and over again with different colors. Let's see, let's switch it out for the heart now. And let's see, I want, oh, we'll do a brown heart. Got to work with the, the crayons I have that don't have any paper on them. Brown heart. So why don't you guys take a minute to watch the reading of The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Excellent, excellent book. And then check around your house. See if you can find, first of all, some crayons that don't have any papers on them. And then look for some interesting textures. 
What would a fork look like if you did a rubbing of that? How about, ooh, maybe you have some um, bubble wrap around. You could rub that. Maybe some cool fabrics. I don't know. What sorts of textures can you find in your house? See what sort of rubbing pictures you can do. And if you'd like, post a picture. I'd love to see them. All right, you guys. Have a great day. See you later.